Hi guys, what's up? Jessica here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the differences between Lightroom and Photoshop by editing the same picture in both programs. One of the reasons why I'm doing this is because I'm seeing an influx of photographers simply rely on Lightroom to do all of their editing and their, their coloring everything. And while I do think Lightroom is a great program for batch processing, um, certain genres of photography and definitely for beginners, I think it can be very limiting and you're kind of doing a disservice to yourself by just sticking with Lightroom just because it's easier to learn and it's preset based. It's just a lot easier to use in Photoshop and so a lot of people just kind of stick with that and they never try using Photoshop. Let's be honest here, most people are content with their edits in Lightroom because they have nothing else to compare it to. That's all they've been using. They're comfortable with it, they know how to use it, they got their preset packs, they're good to go. So why would they change anything? The problem is they haven't been shown what else is possible, which is which is why I've appeared. Why did I try to make that a Pokemon reference, but it didn't work out. So what else do I have written down here? It's important to show comparisons. You know, you may think something is great, but it's probably only because you haven't tried anything else. So between Photoshop and Lightroom, Photoshop is definitely harder to learn. I think we can all agree on that. Lightroom is easier, it's to the point, sliders do what they're meant to do. Now one thing Lightroom is just not good at is retouching and I don't know how I'm gonna retouch in Lightroom right now, it's gonna be a hot mess. I think the skin's gonna probably be worse after I finish, but we're gonna try. So with that being said, I have three photos. I'm going to take them into Lightroom and edit them to the best of my ability. And then I'm gonna take the same three photos and edit and retouch them in Photoshop. Now keep in mind, I will not be showing a live edit and retouch in Photoshop. Just due to time constraints, I don't want to rush the editing for the sake of the length of this video to make it shorter. I really wanna show you guys an accurate portrayal of how you know, my final photo would be taking my time, retouching uh, in Photoshop. So uh, just consider that. Okay, so I'm gonna head on over to Lightroom and I'll meet you guys there. So I have my first image here. I'm just gonna edit it as best I can. I actually have never really edited a picture completely in just Lightroom, like for my fashion work at least. So this is gonna be interesting. You're gonna hear the fan from my computer go on and I'm really sorry. That looks fine. Maybe I'll just decrease some of that yellow in there. I mean, it's definitely easier to edit in Lightroom. I scrolled down and the sharpening was like 40. Did anyone ask you to do anything? Like you just have one job to just not do anything. Looking pretty good. We're pretty solid right now. Profile corrections. Wow, whole new picture. <laughs> there we go. Did its work. I don't know how I added more and it, it's like I never did anything at all. Hmm, the magic of Lightroom. I really like to toggle the blue primary, even though it doesn't even make the picture look nice. I just want to toggle it, like it's fun. I'm like, yeah, let's put it like negative 100, yeah. And it makes the picture look terrible, but it's really fun. I'm like, yeah, blue primary. Okay, so tone curve, maybe blue? Can you add some of that? This is gonna be on Vogue Italia. <laughs> not, I'm not trying to like roast my picture, but like Vogue Italia, they never, like I tried to submit to their, them once and it's just, they don't accept them. Their standards are sky high. Bump up the clarity, you can't go wrong making this look HDR, you know what I mean? Let me toggle the temperature a little. If only I could toggle the temperature in my house. Okay. okay I feel like I, I could do a lot more, but I don't really know what more to add. I feel like I'm gonna make it worse. And then what I'm gonna do is shift the green primary hue. Now we're making progress. This is. The gears are turning right now. I'm like, yes, we got it. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So one thing I do want to do is there's a piece of hair that's kind of going across her face and I really want to retouch it out, but I don't, I'm not really sure how I could do that in Lightroom. I've never really tried to like skin retouch, but I'm going to try for this video. Wow, what is that? Oh, ooh, okay, no, we don't want that. So I guess you just kind of like sample an air. Oh, okay, that's not bad at all. Let me save this just in case my computer crashes and I have to do this again. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so I'm really happy with this edit. I think it looks good. The colors kind of match my style. Uh, and honestly, the skin retouching, like the piece of hair, wasn't bad at all. So this picture looks pretty good. Now, let me show you guys a quick before and after for this Lightroom edit. <laughs> so 
Sorry guys, I switched up the lighting. Hope you don't mind. The other one was terrible and I only realized that like one minute in. And it's too late, so <laughs> we switched it up. Okay, so we have a portrait for the second one. I'm just gonna dive right in here. And let's start by increasing those shadows. I feel like the first thing I always do is just like shadows, a million, you know? Let's bump up the clarity a little bit. If your lens isn't that sharp, don't worry, cause Lightroom is, so. I'm gonna try to match it to what I did in Photoshop, even though I literally can't remember even what I ate this morning, but. You guys, there's literally a trash can rolling around in the middle of the street outside. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Haram, it's like out there by itself. You need some how? I feel so bad. Trash can kind of reminds me of me. On the street? Mm, no, that's not me. My mom would yell at me. You know those people who have like really sophisticated things to say when they're editing? <laughs> I'm not one of those people. I'm like the opposite of those people. I'm like, yeah, this, yeah, just bring this ladder up to 100. That's it. All I gotta do, Sally. There's, there, there goes the fan again. Every time I try to speak. Why are you doing this? Can you calm down, sister? So the green, I'm not really sure what's going on here, but I suppose. I guess. Already did the adjustments. Now we're in the reds and, okay. I kind of want a little bit of a blue tint to this. That would be nice. More than that, I don't know, to be honest with you guys. I feel like I'm making all of these changes and it still looks the same. Okay, that looks good. This, this is looking good. The RGB layer kind of got it to how I want it. We can change her lipstick color too. What do you guys think? This is nice. Okay, I'm gonna change her lipstick color for this one. So I just decreased the hue. Oh, and then decreasing luminance. That was nice. Okay, we're gonna decrease the luminance. That looks good. She looks like she's going to the Grammys. It's a, it's a classy look. So the yellows, I'm just gonna toggle through and see. It's on zero. It literally made no difference because it was on zero. I'm a clown. One wrong color and it looks like she has a disease and we don't want that. This is looking pretty good actually. Now that I'm staring at it constantly, looks good. That's how you know it's good when you've been looking at it straight for like the past three hours. So I bumped up the shadows and the split toning to like a yellow tint and I'm liking how it's looking. Um, I'm just gonna enable profile corrections and then you know play around with a little bit of the calibration, see where that gets me and then wrap this up. We're gonna try the skin retouching again, just for the sake of this video. Okay, looking, okay, it's not bad. <laughs> okay, we're doing, yep, we're making progress here. And then I'm just gonna do her cheek area. Wow, I don't know what I just did. Okay, wow, okay. Honestly, I'm not bad at this. I could do a whole workshop, like skin retouching in my room. <laughs> no one signs up. So this is the second photo. I think it turned out really great. Um, loving the colors, skin retouching wasn't too bad. I'm gonna show you guys a quick before and after of this picture. So now's the fun part. I'm gonna show you guys all three of the Lightroom pictures side by side. I just want you guys to take a moment. Think about it. Do you guys like the coloring? What do you guys think of these final pictures? Are they good? Are they not good? Let's be real here, they're not bad at it, okay? Like, I'm not that terrible, okay? So we're thinking that these are pretty good pictures. Now let me show you guys the Photoshop versions of these same pictures. So what do you guys think? Do you still like the Lightroom versions more? So what I'm trying to just visually show you guys is yes, the Lightroom edits are nice, but then you compare them to the Photoshop edits and then you're like, wow, the Photoshop edits are actually a lot better. The Lightroom color edits are still good, okay? I'm not saying that they're terrible, but compared to the Photoshop edits, 
they're not that great. You really can see a difference in the skin retouching, you know, the texture of the skin, the colors. They just look a lot more professional in Photoshop edited than they do in Lightroom. But everyone's different. Some people are gonna say, hey, the Lightroom edits are way better. I don't like the Photoshop ones, you know? That's really just your personal preference, but you can't deny that there are just some things that Photoshop is better at doing. I really hope that this showed you guys a different side to Photoshop. I feel like Photoshop is like a person I'm trying to get everyone to like. Like, please give them a chance. Um, but I've been using Photoshop for over 13, 14 years, and it's just helped my photography grow so much. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys like the Lightroom edits better or do you prefer the Photoshop edits? Just a quick end note, guys. I'm not trying to roast Lightroom by any means. I do like it. What I'm trying to say is don't get stuck using the same program, the same presets. You're not going to get any better. You're not going to learn anything new. You're not going to grow as a photographer. Uh, and you know, editing is such a crucial and important part of photography. Uh, so I really encourage you guys to try out new applications even new ways to shoot and just try everything. Don't don't stick to doing the same thing because you're comfortable with it, because you got good results one time. Um, you're really not gonna grow, you're not gonna learn anything different. So I encourage you guys to uh, get out of your comfort zone. Learn Photoshop, <laughs> not sponsored by Adobe. If they want to, but I'm here. Send me an email if you guys want. Lightroom asks you a question, you say yes or no. Photoshop requires an essay answer. That's really the best way I can explain it.